time to get more into the mystery of Vex and Vax. Hello and welcome my amazing viewers, Salaviathan here, we are back with another reaction. Today we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2, we're on Episode 8. And man oh man, <laughs> does the plot thicken. Last episode, you know, we um, ended up dealing with the whole separation and uh, exploration of the Fade Dimension. Until they met a satyr named Garmili. Now Garmili was a little bit of an observer, but ended up kind of being a guide for us a little bit later on but on the other half you know we had grog pike and scanlan you know dealing with their issues and stuff um they ended up destroying the uh craven's edge and then ended up like sucking out all the energy and strength out of grog he was basically a stick we also got a little bit of uh pike and scanlan uh relationship progression just just a little bit <laughs> so this episode is gonna be exciting because um during their tra travels to the fade dimension they ended up up uh, upon the city that was from their world singorn and apparently Apparently, that's the place where Vex and Vax are from. We're not going to waste any time. Let's get started with this reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And drop a comment down below on your thoughts on this reaction. I'd love to read it. But we're not going to waste time. Let's get started with The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2, Episode 8, Echo Tree. Let's go. First off, your hometown is... wow. <laughs> but how can a city just teleport to the Fey Realm? In times of danger, the elven nobility have arcane means of moving it. Oh, that's really cool, man. So you're saying that Singorin is a traveling city? Man, they, that must be like a lot, take a lot of magic, man. Honestly. <laughs> To, tra to transport a whole city? You let us here for your amusement, didn't you? Oh, of course not. Just a few more blocks and we're... Fucked. We seek an audience with Ambassador Vassar. Ah, we're his children. Real Vermalock wood. Your father has gold standard taste. Always did. Except when it came to us. What do you mean? Be honest. Do I look like I come from nobility? Just be a bit of a shit and wear what everyone else is wearing. I've known many people with money and titles. They're definitely not worth you. Your father will be down shortly. And somewhere around here is, uh... Who are you talking to, Mum? Oh, right. You haven't met Valora yet. Our daughter. A gift from your half-sister. Oh, okay, so that's so that's his current Amazing. wife. Your father will be pleased to see you. <clears throat> Perhaps I would have been, had you notified me you'd be gracing us with your presence. Pop, pop, it's me, Pike! Pike? Oh, it's you, Pike! Yo, that's Thank Pike's and Pops! I thought you might be someone Yo, else man, this is a real family <laughs> reunion type of episode, <laughs> isn't it? Real vestments. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> this is my great great grandfather, Wilhand Trickfoot. Pop, pop. <laughs> pop, pop. Oh, I wish I could say that I've I've seen him look worse, but I don't think I have. Come on, help me get this big boy on the table. And so, when Imon fell, we had no recourse but to retreat to the Fey Realm. Why are you here? To dispatch the very dragons that chased you away, sir. And you are. Oh, we're a Vox Machina. I mean, um, <laughs> we are Vox Machina. We've come for an ancient weapon said to lie in the Shade Merc. The Finthris bow. That bow could be the key to defeating the dragons. You should be proud. Your son and daughter are leading the fight against the Chroma Conclave. The very idea Percy, you're barking up the wrong tree here. Standing up for the greater good is, <laughs> well, rich. You unbelievable prick. Throwing my name around whenever it suits you. I despise you. You hear how, you hear how he said fine. my family? He doesn't no consider home. them as family? He just said it's Those are his children. Fine. Right? I don't know, Thank man. You for your time, Father. I do not like this guy. I don't. If you could offer us any assistance, we would be most grateful. I don't know why Vex is so different around him. You know, I figured that she should be pissed off too, right? 
But no, only Vax is the one who's like standing up against him. I wonder why. I really want to. I really want to know more. No, 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 no. This one ain't going down the front side flapper trap. Oh. Uh, allow me. I know how to work both ends. Yes. You might. Just why would you volunteer for that, Scanlan? Everlight, protect Grog and the rest of our friends, wherever they are. <laughs> this decree promises safe passage, but once you leave our walls, you're on your own. Hmm. You'll need to amend one name, though. Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. So, good sir, despite your relationship, do watch your manners towards a noble. Bro, I rate you, Percy, for doing that. We won't fail, which is more than I can say about you as a father. Then yes, that's good. Bro. Stand up against him. Stand up against him, Vex. Until then, do not bother me again. Oh, fuck you. We're leaving. I should apologize for springing that title on you. I hope it didn't upset you, Vex. It's Lady Vex. <laughs> no one other than my brother has ever stood up for me like that. Thank you. We spent our childhood with mother, then father had us brought to live with him. Why did he pull us away from home? He, he had no love for us. Must have felt good to tell him to fuck off, though. I think I'll feel much better when I shove that bow in his stupid smug face. Onward we go! I feel darkness. I can connect with the plant roots, but I only sense... Bro, the shade murk is a completely different area. It's like, just death. Death everywhere. Did you hear that? Don't listen to him! Clear your heads! Lock it out! The shade mark is home to a cursed archfey named Sondor, but as long as you don't submit to his voice, his sadness won't turn you. Ah, how reassuring. What the heck is an archfey? That sounds like a high level fey. Well, no fucking shit! <sighs> oh, so I'm gonna be like this forever? No, not necessarily. Your body's gonna need a kickstart. Some significant stimulation. I gotta stimulate myself? <laughs> okay. Stop that man! Back it up. We're talking about a boost, a jolt. As promised, the Shade Mark Bog. Pendrus must be in that tree. Vexalia. Nope. 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 Huh? Nah, Vex? I'm good. I'm good. Are you all right? Uh, she doesn't look all right. Can you hear me? <laughs> Not, Not only, only hear you, see you, feel you, feel you. I, I can understand, understand your pain. I await dear help. What is this? <laughs> My cue to leave. You won't see Camellia again. Vexalia! Bro, this is so scary, man. <laughs> the Sandor creature is, is creepy as heck. Sandor's madness and pain has found you. Sweet, broken Vexalia. Unwanted daughter. Sister! Clearly he wants it for a purpose here. Do not do not touch him, Vex. Do not touch him. No, please do not. I'm gonna be corrupted. Here, Father. It is as beautiful as you. My Vexalia. I have seen of anything anything. I think I can grasp any gifts. Is he trying to feed off of her from something? Because it doesn't look like he's trying to murder her or kill her. What exactly does he need from her here? Why is he compelling her? Daughter, 
to stay. You yeah. tried, but it is not what you need. Is that the actual bull? It doesn't look like the real bull. It doesn't look like it. You whole again, and all I need from you is, is your heart. My heart is someone else's. <laughs> Bitch, you're just <laughs> like the rest. You see how they instantly switch up as soon as they don't get what they want? You see that? Man, you can't trust anyone these days. Seriously, not even like creepy arch phase in a forest compelling you to come become their hearts. <laughs> I've got an idea, but I need you two to keep them busy. You reject me? <laughs> Damn right, Twig Dick. I really like the area for this battle. Very desolate, very wasteland like. Whoa, I think that's actually the real friend wrist bow. Cause that was some power right there. The return of the fire golem! Let's go, Keyleth! Let's go, Keyleth! Let's go! <laughs> man, I freaking love her, man. She's so powerful. Always coming in clutch. Always coming in clutch. You think you can leave me? Yo, the Fenris bow is cool, man. You can summon other elements to use with it. Not so tough now, are we? Vexalia! Your words are as empty as your corrupted heart. <laughs> I still don't understand what he was really searching for when he said, I want your heart. Was he being like, figuratively or, or literally? <laughs> I still don't know what, he, what his purpose was trying to corrupt the Vex. <laughs> I don't think I can talk to him again. Not yet. Don't let him get under your skin, Stubby. He is who he's always been. I know. And so am I. I distinctly remember you saying we never see you again. Yes, I did, and you won't, because you lot are going home. Chaza. What, yo, man? This guy is such a, a W, man. He's such a W. The Fey Realm is definitely better in the books. Travel safe, friends. Stay alive. Ooh, the hell is that? Was that the god that um, that is associated with the Fenris bow? Cause that was that was so random. I'm like, who is that? Come on, get your juices flowing. Show me some anger. Right. I would like to raise. <laughs> oh, bold muscle. I think we have to go to Western. Huh? Uh, why there? For vestiges. Mythcarver showed me those gauntlets. Remember, in the city. Oh Shit. man, Westrum is the place where Grog is from, right? Oh no, his his tribe cannot see him like this. They can't. Those they would shame him, man. My uncle. He killed me with them. Huh? He killed him with you, Grog? Okay, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a little bit more information than that, but good buddy, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah.
episode 8 of Vox Machina. Interesting one. You know, um, we met their father. Be his name was, um, it was Ambassador Vassar, but I think his name was Sildor. Don't quote me on that because I can't, <laughs> I'm trying to remember here, but um, he is just a, to he was just a total ass, man. Like, you can clearly tell he has no love for them at all. He gave them a little bit of information on um, how to get to the Shade Merc and find the Fenris bow. And we can kind of see this episode was a vac Vex episode, you know, we could kind of see that she was constantly looking for approval from her father but it was something that she would never have gotten right having that uh creature sonder kind of uh compelling her to come and to have him steal her heart now as i was mentioning during this reaction like i was a little bit confused because i'm like what does he mean by her heart like physically figuratively or like literally it seemed at the end there um garmili was actually maybe the god of the fenris bow or, or whatever i don't know if they mentioned their name yet um the b story here uh, i'm trying to get grog his muscles back uh, through uh unconventional means was pretty cool meeting pike's uh, great grandfather pop pop it was nice to see more of a familiar familial type of thing this episode right looks as though grog isn't well yet and we're gonna have to be going to westrun and it looked as though that grog has some history there westrun was the place that he his tribe is from and his uncle, I guess, was the guy who we saw two episodes ago. So he said that his his uncle killed him. Um, very interesting. Very interesting thing Grog said there. So I'm really excited to see what happens next episode. Really am. Uh, I can't wait to jump right into it. But for this reaction, guys, I will see you guys around. Take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.